orchestra model by Martin is historical. It goes back to the 1920s and it's rooted, get this, in the tenor banjo. Back then the tenor banjo was still a popular instrument, but the acoustic guitar was on the rise. As a result, if you played tenor banjo for a living, uh, you made your money at it that way, you were expected to play both. Well, not every banjo player plays guitar and certainly um, most guitar players ought not to be playing the banjo. Well, Martin uh, designed an acoustic guitar that was more geared toward the needs of a tenor banjo player. And like the tenor banjo, this guitar had four strings. It had the same scale length and uh, it was even tuned the same. It was called the tenor acoustic guitar. And basically, if you could play the tenor banjo, you could play the tenor acoustic guitar. Well, Martin further modified the tenor acoustic guitar by adding two more frets to the neck. So instead of 12 frets to the body, it became 14 frets to the body. And that enabled the player to reach the higher part of the fretboard with ease. Um, there's no way I can tell the story in one minute, but what I'm driving at is this. Shortly after Martin started manufacturing 14 fret tenor acoustic guitars, they started to manufacture their six string guitars with two extra frets. So again, instead of 12 frets to the body, it became 14 frets to the body. And that's what, that's what invented the orchestra model. It's the first 14 fret six string acoustic guitar. And it's the reason why Every acoustic guitar manufactured from the 1930s on up to today uh, has a 14 fret neck. Well, this is an Orchestra Model 28 by Martin, but with a twist. It's a modern deluxe. One might call it something old and something new. And I'd like to begin my impression today with something old, and that's the neck shape. The shape of the neck is what Martin calls a vintage deluxe, and it differs from other Martin neck shapes, such as the low profile, the modified low oval, uh, the modified V, in that it's not symmetrical, it's asymmetrical. So in other words, as the hand maneuvers up and down, it doesn't adjust to the neck, the neck adjusts to the hand. While this might seem like a brand new feature, the neck shape is actually based on a pre-war orchestra model Martin. And something new, the soundboard and the braces have all been torrified. And what that means is they've been heated up, these pieces. And as they heat up, certain substances are, are baked away. The result is you're gonna have a guitar that is similar in tone as one from the 1930s, but right out of the box. And I think that that's pretty darn cool. Why well, say if this guitar were yours, the search is over. In fact, you might go ahead and sell every guitar that you do have, because this one is enough. Playing the notes is like gliding from one to the next. There's not one hiccup. It's like Fred Astaire. It's just so fluid and it's spirited I can feel the vibrations in the body in the neck and then also up here at the headstock and there's a nice percussive quality to it when it's strummed in a certain way and that's a lot of fun there's a lot one can do with this guitar and I think one could do a lot more than ever imagined. Hmm. The Orchestra Model 28, Modern Deluxe by Martin, will turn you into a better player. And now I would like to play for you uh, a little instrumental that my friend Sean Watkins and I wrote. It doesn't have a title, but uh, I'll hope to be able to bring it to you in a good way 
on this beautiful orchestra model 28 modern deluxe by Martin. <laughs> Thank you. 